there are features that need improvement and the first feature of improvement is us ourselves how much have we improved our islamic knowledge uh, in terms of reciting quran knowing hadith knowing hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning majority of what you refer to as sunni muslims will be unfamiliar verses of the quran or the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but they will they will know the biographies of their shaykh or they will know the details of the miracles of their shaykh and the stories that their particular cult will uh, disseminate amongst them once i went to a speech and they wanted me to discuss uh, the awliya of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that lecture all i mentioned was the quran and sunnah so from verses of the quran and the hadith from the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the organizers were upset at the end of my lecture one of the people came on to the microphone and he mentioned forgeries regarding a shah naqshband saying things like four levels of paradise will be filled with the followers of shah naqshband there is no such thing as this in the quran and sunnah so majority of these cults that we have they need to move away from the folk tales and uh, you know mentioning miracles all the time emphasizing miracles and not mentioning the quran and the sunnah sticking to the book of allah and the sunnah of the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam not that we uh, I, i deny miracles i have witnessed miracles of a sheikh ahmed habbal myself but very rarely would i ever mention this because the greatest lesson of a sheikh ahmed habbal was his tamassuk grasping onto the quran and the sunnah that was his greatest miracle so if i am not emphasizing uh, grasping onto the quran and the sunnah and i am emphasizing miracles of Uh, false peers or people who have who have no knowledge of the Quran and Sunnah, they cannot teach Quran, they cannot teach Bukhari, they cannot teach the books of the Sunnah. And remember, I am not mentioning those people who who can teach the Quran and the Sunnah. I'm mentioning the the majority of our subcontinent peers. They are not ulama. They cannot uh, teach their followers the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The first step to improving our situation. is returned back to the Quran and the Sunnah. This is why it's permitted for people to question ulama and say where is the proof for this from the Quran and the Sunnah or the fiqh works from the books of Al Imam Abu Hanifa and his school. This is permitted, but many of them will, uh, will fail the challenge. So so many of them are associated with these type of groups and they they cause division amongst Sunni Muslims that people belong to one particular group or they belong to another group. and they cause uh, division amongst uh, those sunni muslims